What's up guys, Steve here, Black Fly. Shameless plug. What do you guys think of this design? Manhattan Midge. I know, I'm sorry guys, I gotta, my wife says, you gotta advertise your stuff. Oh, looky, looky. Check this out. Look at this. This is my backyard, so there's a couple cars. For those of you who don't know, I um, I buy old cars and fix them up and flip them. Lots of snow, but here's the fly tying station. There's my buddy. A little tripod I use for my phone. This is amazing. One of the best investments I made. Magnifying glass. This is just a, a make. A, I think it's like a makeup bathroom organizer. And it, you know, holds quite a bit of stuff. It's, I keep my dubbing and stuff in here. This is my hooks drawer. And then on the top, it's got these little organizers that fit the small. And I put the bigger hobby store resin right there. And my clips and tools and my chonko on them. And I've got this little drawer system right here for holding more materials. Uh, foam sheets from the craft store. Let's tie a fly, ladies and gentlemen. Let's tie a fly. Okay, so we've got a falling mill. FM5130, size 12, 4, 6, uh, slotted tungsten is thread, 70 denier black, and I'm just going to, I like this, and we're going to pull this back, pull the bead back, and I'm going to tie, uh, around it. I'm going to go back like that. Make sure that's as high on the hook as possible. Let's go around one more time. Okay, that should hold it. Just dress the hook. I'm going to go into the bend just a little bit. I like, I like the UV. Got a marabou feather here. In white. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's tie that in about right there. Now that top of this hook is going to be the okay we'll flip our fly over and next we've got black eee! and let's take and we'll split this we'll try not to stab our fingers just want just a little bit of that that tip there Steve don't get too excited tie just a little bit into the bend it just pr helps prevent the marabou from fouling on the hook so next guess where I got this this was fancy Christmas present ribbon and I was like oh I'm clipping that off and saving that for fly tying and so what you want to, what I'm planning to do is, since this is going to be a really long, this case I'll take it and fold it up like that. Yeah, and that should work. Okay, then we're just going to take and tie this in right here. You want to make sure you secure it pretty good. So it should look something like like that. Ah, just kidding. You guys know me. I don't take nothing serious in life. Might need to invest in a new lighter here. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Scaly ribbon here, our Chinese. 
just gonna kind of get my thread into some of those and then I'm just gonna pinch it and I'll tie it off okay so next I stub the orange But now we're going to just give this a couple of half hitches right in front of that dubbing. If you cinch it down, you shouldn't be able to see your thread. Trim our thread. So you're just going to take your... I'm going to take that. I'm going to push that back. I think I'll have to use a clamp here. Just clamp it out of the way for a minute. Okay, so we're gonna start our thread again right here behind the bead. Okay, so next I've got these little egg pattern little puff balls. And what I did is I just cut one in half. I wanna make a little ball right there. So I think what I might need to do here is I'm just gonna take and make a, a really small dubbing loop. Now, you guys gotta remember I didn't practice this. Uh, I like to freestyle. I feel like it just brings out the true tire. You know I could practice but so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick this ball. I'm gonna cram it up in there and we'll give it a spin so it holds it just a little bit. Now this might not work and I might have to start over but at least you guys will know I tried. I'm just gonna wrap this around like this and try to get a great big. I didn't want to waste a whole bunch of dubbing. Now you guys are at this point, I'm sure you're thinking, holy cow, Steve, what are you doing? But this for real has a, a pretty cool purpose that you'll see here in a minute. So then we're gonna just tie this off. Take a thread, move that to the side, and we'll cut off our little shepherd's hook. Pick some of it out and we'll just hang that over the cradle and see if we can get this Bashuka stuff to fold over. Okay, at this point, I want to fly this. Okay, so what I need to do is cut this without nipping my thread. I should have just cut that a little bit shorter. Um, trying to wiggle my thread back in here. Because I don't want to close off the hook gap. And I want it to have a little point like that. I'm trying to... I know it looks terrible now, but you just hang in there. I promise you guys it's going to come out cool. Okay, we still got plenty of hook gap. So basically I'm whip finishing by hand. Trim our thread. I junk scissors, and I'm going to cut this right here. Wait, man, these are dull as can be. Okay, so... So I'm going to take the lighter, and I'm just going to melt that. Okay, so next, we've got some craft store UV resin. Unless if there's a resin company out there that would like to sponsor me. And I'm just going to start building a, a, a body. Kind of let that soak in a little bit. With the UV light. Okay, so I'm going to reposition the fly. You guys got to stick around for the final product. You got to see the finished product. I got, an, I got some cool ideas in store for this little bug. I can find my light. I'll hit it. I'm going to start building up the side of it here. I'm 
freestyling like that. If this will line up. Oh yeah, look at that. Dude, even my flies on my shirt got UV. <laughs> Something I want to say, guys, is that by no means am I like, uh, should I be teaching how to tie flies? I'm just a beginner fly tire and I just enjoy the art. It's relaxing and it's fun. And I think that's what it should be for everybody. It shouldn't be taken so seriously. That's right. Black. Glitter. Dust. Okay. So we're going to take our UV resin. And we're going to grab our glitter. I'm just going to sprinkle it on. I'm going to take our toothpick here and we're just going to mix it. Here's my mix. And I'm just going to use the toothpick here. And again, I don't want to close the back hook gap off. And you could do this with, you could mix this with any color. Cure that. Take your time, it's going to take a little bit longer to cure because it has to penetrate that glitter. Okay, so next I'm going to take and just try to make a couple little, uh, Artsy. You guys do whatever you want with yours. I'm trying to make this one look kind of like a perch. Okay, so next we've got some four millimeter eyes. Get some lighting for this place. Okay, we'll do the other side. Go slow with that. Okay, I'm gonna give it some bubble eyes now. Give it that 3D effect. And there we have it, a fire tiger perch fly. I'm shining the UV on it so you guys can see. That's what the sun will do. I bet the fish ain't seen nothing like this. You know what I'm saying? Let me show you what it looks like in my hand. What do you guys think? Ice fishing jig? Or you think you could your own nymph from, I'm actually gonna try your own nymphing some deep holes with this. I think the trout would rip it. 